The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Neonatal telehealth, telehealth provides high quality and specialized medical care to rural communities. Holly Menino explains how this technology not only saves money, but also allows babies to be born closer to home. We really wanted to, to deliver here. At 37 weeks, Mike Moss's wife, Michelle, gave birth to twin boys at Heber Valley Hospital. One of the two, Parker, um, ended up just never quite making those crying sounds he was supposed to. And Fortunately, they had the virtual expertise of a neonatologist who determined that Parker would need to be transported to Utah Valley Hospital. Whatever decisions needed to be made, it seems like the, the tools were there, whether it was in the hospital or you know, over that telehealth NICU. Intermountain's neonatal telehealth program uses 270 cameras in 19 hospitals with the goal of being virtually present for higher risk deliveries and babies who need resuscitation. It's allowing resources to be taken from one community to another community at the moment that they need it. Dr. Stephen Minton says a major focus is frequent training at the smaller hospitals. It's teaching the local resources and allowing them to perform at a much higher level. This allows essential care to be provided on site while utilizing the mind of well-trained experts from afar. It's more than just preventing a transport. It's improving the quality of care of those babies at their local resources. Virtual care is also helpful for babies like Parker who end up needing to be transported. So the relationships are already formed. We're part of the team and we're part of the community. After three days in the NICU, Parker is back with his brother and doing great. Just needed a little help getting those lungs going in the first place and then he was, was good to go. Holly Menino for 2 News.